It's fine. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a pretty sizable Craft of Lee unboxing. Um, they had a make it or break it sale, and I hope that combined with many of you who I know probably shopped it as well, I hope that we put them in the make it category. I really would like to see them continue on. I have been a fan of Craftively for some time. Um, their most recent releases didn't really, like, super interest me, I don't think. Um, especially when it came time for the pre-order aspect. I'm not really, um, I'm not really, uh, against pre-ordering. I do it quite a bit. I can't open this box, though. I do pre-order quite a bit, but, um, I don't know if it was... Maybe it was financially when these came out, um, but something in me, they did not get anything in that round, so I don't, I don't really have to justify that. I just, I felt the need to explain. I do have several craftively, so I have, um, there's like a sunken ship one. I have that one, and so does my sister. Um, I also have the Galaxy Girl one. Um, I also have um, the Alice and Snow White one, and so does my mom, I believe. Or either that or she has this uh, Snow, no, Alice um, Starry Nights one, and I have that one as well. I definitely have the two Alice ones and from Jasmine Becky Griffith, and I also have um, the Sunken Chip one and the Galaxy Girl one. Now, how the hell am I going to open this? That is the question of the damn day. Let me bust into it with a pair of tweezers. Let's see if that helps me. The tape that they use is hella strong, y'all. No shit ain't coming out. Okay. Okay, so. I... I just wanted to pull it all out at one time. This is probably... My... Is this everything I got? Yep, okay. So I ended up placing two separate orders um, because I thought that the one that I wanted was sold out, so I just grabbed whatever I could and put it in the cart. So we'll start with the one that I placed a separate order for. And, well, we can start here. That's okay. We can do Mittens Destroyer, or should I do all of these separately? Maybe... Maybe that's exactly what I will do. I will start with Mittens Destroyer of Worlds. This is by um, Wor Wormtail. And I, once again, struggling to open it. Okay, here we go. Okay. So this is the new Craftably boxes. If you don't know, I love cats. So here is my new kitty buddy. Oh, poor me. Okay. Oh my god. These are packaged well, guys. Very well. Okay. There's the canvas and toolkit. These are just pieces of the box. So we'll start with the toolkit. I don't know what comes in a craftably toolkit. I'm not sure. Should I do these separately or should I just do one big thing? I think I'm leaning more towards doing it all at once. So here is a toolkit. We've got two um, washi tapes. This one is red and white polka dots. This one's blue with stars. And we have this nice reusable bag, which I love a reusable bag. Here is a container of wax. It is a circular pad of wax in a um, twist off container that is branded as well as their bag. Both are branded. Then they have a, a little teardrop. I'm not going to try to open that, but it's a teardrop opener, um, teardrop cover minder. Very cute. I'm not going to try and open it because there's tape on it and there's a lot of breaking nail. We have craftably branded uh, toolkit. And inside the crafted, craftably branded toolkit, we have a purple wax a blue, a blue, this is purple, <laughs> God. we have two purple wax, a purple boat with funnel, 
um, soft purple tweezers, like the soft, the color is soft, not the tweezers. These are, these are sharp, okay? And we've got two four placers and a seven placer as well as a um, sparkly clear pack. Okay. Oh, and a pink squishy. Now, should I choose to um, unbox them all at once, I will show you the toolkit but more of the stuff that, like the washi tape and the cover minder, because I don't think you want to see this exact toolkit over and over. But I digress. Here we go. Let's go. And just a reminder, this is Mittens Destroyer of Worlds. And there goes my little kitten right into the box. Yeah, he's in the box. This is my box toy, yeah. This is the... Did he just push himself all the way in there? He sure as hell did. All right, well. You having fun? Don't get stuck. All right, I pulled the tape off. That was a struggle. And here is our canvas. So we have ooh, a sticker sheet. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I sweat glitter, logbook, stickers. Stickers just because, oh, that's so cute. And then, of course, we have all of the... DMC sticker codes, so that's cool. This painting itself is 18 by 24, and it has a total of 51 colors. And what is this? This is the features and some of the other stuff they sell. Okay, and here is our kit. So remember, this is a, what did I say, 18 by 24. Gosh, what does that equal in centimeters? I feel like it's on the top of my tongue, but I don't want to guess it. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, the box is branded, obviously, and it's got, like, their stuff on it. It's got, it's got Amy on it and some customer testimonials. Born in Texas, family-owned. We love a family-owned U.S. brand. We do, we do. Here is... There is the canvas. Okay, so, like I said, it's got 51 colors. Um, because I have three to get through, and because I don't really think that you care all that much about all of the colors, I am going to pull out just the special drills. And we've got a logo, um, the logo, the picture right here as well. This is a round kit. I may have to pull out all the drills just to get to the special drills. Oh no, I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Oh, well, maybe I don't. I don't. Hooray! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up now that I pulled the special drills out. And you can kind of see, obviously, the color palette is gonna be darker, it's gonna be blue, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we've got a kitty with a hat and his uh, mittens to show your worlds. Okay, so I'm going to get into the special drills real quick. So, and here is the color palette, just in case there's somebody who likes to see what colors a kit comes with. I will hold it here for a couple seconds. Okay, so here we go. We have, let's flip it over and zoom us in. Got AB08. This is a white AB. We've got AB211, which is uh, 211. <laughs> We've got AB3843, which is 3843, but AB. And 3846, but also, once again, AB. And then 996, also. And then for crystals, we have 3607, which is a pretty vibrant pink. And then we have a softer pink at 604. And finally, uh, 796, which is a deep blue. Very pretty. So, let's see. Oh, my back is hurting now because I've got to lean over. I'm being a little dramatic. Okay, let me zoom in. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, so our symbols for the ABs we have um, O. 
So basically, if there is, let's see, in inside of the white areas, you're going to have the ABs and also in his eyes, um, not on his mittens. So I, what I do appreciate is that it's kind of true to like a cat wouldn't necessarily have ABs on him. So I appreciate that <laughs> that's there. We do have like a little highlight right there happening. Um, and like outlining his tail and like in between his tail fluffies and but for the most part it's going to be like this background bit right there that's got O's or circles I guess and then of course some right here as well and that is for the white AB moving on to to 11 so the symbol for this is going to be U so um, inside the places where there's purple, I'm assuming. Yep, right here, a softer purple. Almost like a pinky purple right here. That's the U's. We've got some U's in the background up here as well. And sort of um, down here, or up here, I guess, in the background. And... It looks like those spots are primarily where the EB211 is going to be. And then we're going to get a little bit tricky with the U-turn. We have a couple. Um, let's see. Yep. 3843 is the U-turn symbol. So let's see. Let's look and see where we have the U-turns. Um, we're going to have some U-turns in his little crystal. Um, this thing as well as in his eyes and in his hat. Um, I see a couple of them in his tail, which looks a little bit like a reflection or maybe like an additional band on his tail. And then I am seeing some, obviously in the background, this, uh, this color right here and behind his hat, on top of his hat, um, over here, down, down here as well. And just just generally like in the background area. And then next up we have H and that is 3846. This color, the it's um in between the two ABs. It's more of a, a green blue than a true blue. And that is what did I say it was? Um H. Okay, so I'm looking for H's. So sure enough, we're gonna find some in the background here and here and I see some H's in the background here and some H's here in the background up there and I see some H's that looks like it's it oh and some H's in the crystal here and in his eyes as well so we've got H's abundantly Next up is AB996. My back is hurting already. And we're looking for seven this time. And seven is going to be here, down here, just like with the H's, as well as here and here. So basically, it looks like it's going to fade, sort of, from, from H to seven to the U-turn symbol. So anywhere that you have those, so you have the U-turn, the seven, and the H, and then you have the H, the seven, and the U-turn. And then up here as well with the seven H and U-turn here here and they've done a really nice job of blending them but keeping them abundant um none in his tail or in his little crystal spots okay moving on to the next one which is 3607 which is that vibrant um pink so the color or the symbol for that is going to be g so now we're going to find the damn G's. <laughs> okay. Um, and his nose. Is that a G in his nose? Yes. Okay. G in the nose. And I really don't see any anywhere else. And I don't even see where there might even be some. And then the next symbol is going to be J. So it's like literally just his nose then. So it's G and J only in his nose. So I'll zoom all the way in so you can see that part. So it's literally just his nose. Just G and J is just in his nose. 
which means that I will have plenty left over to sprinkle them throughout my other projects because I do save uh, all my crystals and ABs for that reason. And then finally, the last um, crystal is going to be 796, and that is the blue crystal that we saw before. And the symbol for that one is going to be the triangle. So I've got some triangle down here. I've got triangles down here. I've got triangles down here as well in that area. And I've got triangles in the shadows of his tail. And I have triangles in the background up here, all the way at the top. Triangles up here. And I have, I'm going to pull it closer to me. I'm not going to bend over anymore because I've got back problems, y'all. I am too old to be bent over all like that. And we have crystals in his face, which is an odd choice to me personally, and I might change that depending on, I will always check to see how it looks first. Um, we have the crystal in his circle thingy here, and then we have it like as the whole background of his face, basically. But maybe it looks good. I don't, but see, the thing is, is I don't know. So I can't say that I will change it. I'm just going to say that I'll look at it. Now, what I've decided to do based on how my back feels I have decided I'm gonna split this into three videos and I'm gonna try and push through another one real quick and then save another one for another day. So that is officially Mittens Destroyer of Worlds. Whether or not Craftably will bring their previous releases back, I don't know. That's really a question for them. I hope that they do bring at least this one back because this is so perfect for so many events coming up. We've got like a uh, the ones in the Halloween time, you've got uh, Magic, uh, Mermaids and Magic of March that this would work for. Um, I think someone's doing a Furry Friends one, uh, Paws and Claws. Um, I'm sure that, the, look, here's the thing. I will argue my way into or out of anything. And I could find about 100 different events that I would argue that this works for. I mean, it could be, you know, for anything. So... I hope that they bring this one back because I do love, I do love a kitty and my cat's in the box over there. But anyways, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to try and push through another one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what you should do? You should hit subscribe and you should give me a thumbs up and you should hit subscribe because I, because I asked for it, please. And if you do, <laughs> if you do end up subscribing, that would be great. I hope you stay for a while. Um, it's been a while since I did a video, so I should really remember my outro. I hope that you are. Be safe, wash your hands, take care of yourselves.